Okay, so、uh, in the last class, we did the drawing of the Hamsa. Sorry, did I say Hamsa? Kamsa. It is spelled Hamsa, but it's pronounced Kamsa. So, this is the drawing, and today's class is going to focus on the painting of this Kamsa. Okay, so I have my acrylic paints, my brushes, my water, my paper towels. Here we go. My Kamsa is going to be underwater. So, I've started building up layers to make like an underground, underwater. Did I say underground? Oh gosh. I meant underwater. You know, I want it to look like it's under the sea with some bubbles and some goldfish and just give the effect of water. So, I've started with applying some aqua green color and I'm going to build some layers of other colors that are harmonious. I started painting the background by doing a little bit of dabbing, dab, 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 dab. And I'm slowly going to keep adding value in different,、um, different shades and different tints of the same color so I can achieve the background effect that I want. You see my brush application, just dab, 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 dab. And that's for the background because I want it to look a little bit like underwater. Okay, I want it to look a lot like underwater. Okay. Okay, see how I'm introducing more color? And I just keep dabbing, 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 and I'm just gonna keep going until I get what I want. Yeah, that's it. Now, look at what all that layering did. I added aqua blues and aqua greens and some whites, and I'm just really, really trying to create the underwater effect in my own creative way. Yeah, we're getting there. I've introduced a little bit of black, not too black. I added tints and shades of the same blues and greens by adding blacks and whites, just trying to stagger the color a little bit and make it look more natural. And I've also started painting around the fish so that eventually I will paint the fish. Over here, I've covered most of the background. Woohoo! We're making progress. Guys, I have to tell you that painting this has required a lot of quiet focus and it's just made me kind of, you know, shut the whole world away. And I've just tuned into my canvas and I'm just painting and applying all these colors, and it's just doing so much for my headspace right now. I feel good about this. Take a look at the fish and the bubbles and the water. I feel like, I feel like going for a swim just looking at this. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so I changed my brush stroke from dab, dab, dab to stroke, stroke, stroke. Notice how I stroke this in gentle strokes. And I'm using very、um, different textures of paint. Sometimes I go really light, sometimes I go thicker, so I can get the effects of the fish fin. And I'm gonna keep on going like that till I cover. All of it. I did most of the blues, so very soon I'm gonna move into warmer colors. Okay. I've started adding some warm colors. I have yellows, orange, a little bit of red, and I'm trying to, you know, enjoy the contrast between the warm and the cool. I'm trying to make the warm pop out a little bit while the cool kind of sits back. So, I've also added some red and some purples to the Kamsa itself. Okay, more red violets. And I've basically done most of the fish. And it's just progress. So, we just keep it going. And、um, for the remaining part of the painting, I'm going to use a time lapse video so I can just finish this up quickly. But,、um, This takes time and a lot of patience, and I just want you to enjoy doing this. Under the sea, under the sea, under the sea, under the sea. Darling, it's better than where it's wetter. Take it from me. Up in the shore, they walk all day. Out in the sun, they slave away. While we devote in full time to floating under the sea. Okay, and that's a wrap. We're done. Woohoo!